What's going on guys, Shimon here back with a new video and you probably clicked on this video because you're having a hard time trying to figure out how to transfer files from your PC to your iPhone or from your iPhone to your PC. And my friend recently asked me how do I transfer these files and I told him that I just normally just plug my iPhone in, it comes up in the media folder and you could transfer it. but sometimes it just doesn't work and you can't transfer the files. You try to transfer it, it says it won't transfer or it'll reach like 99% and it cancel. So if you're having any of those issues, this is gonna be the perfect program for you guys to install and it's called WinX Media Transfer. Now I have links to this down below in the description where you guys could go ahead and download Download this software and without any further ado let's hop on to our PC let me show you how to use this tool to transfer all of your media files let's go okay guys so here we are on our PC now as I said before you just want to connect your device make sure that you trust the device so you want to connect it to your PC and it will come up with a sign that says trust so you just want to unlock the device trust it enter your passcode and then we're good to go to transfer any files that we want. So first off, I wanna show you guys how you could transfer photos easily. So you want to go into the photo transfer, always let it sync first. Go into photo transfer, just wait until all the images are synced and you can just go ahead and choose from there to different stuff from here. Now, if your phone is running low on storage, for example, I only have two gigs free, you can literally just transfer all of them, put it onto your PC, put it in a safe place, back it up, back it up again by a hard drive or something and then you could free up all those storage on your iPhone and still have the images here on your PC which is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to easily transfer an image or two. So for example I have four images here, you just want to hit export then it will put it right into a folder. Alright, it will create a folder for you as you can see, it created a folder in my local this C drive. And here are all the images that it saved. Pretty simple, works like a charm. And the same thing for videos, right? So if you have videos, let's go back, go into the video manager, and we have the video files here. It will load as usual, have to let it sync. So I did one earlier. This is from my desktop. You want to hit add video, you want to go to your video folder, for example. Let's get this VG Glitch intro, hit open, sync it. Once it's finished synchronizing, then you want to go into the TV app on your device. And as you can see, VG Glitch intro just installed. You could go ahead and play it. Just like that pretty cool now if you want to add music you need to have itunes i mean the music installed right so you need to have the music app installed so you want to go to music manager let me just show you guys that i have no songs on here as you can see i have literally no songs nothing no music all right add music go into my music folder Let's add some random stuff here. Oh, let me go into no copyright music. I like four of those. Synchronize. And it's super fast too. That's what I really love about it. So, just like that. As you can see, all the music popped up super easy. And I could play them just from here. All of them plays. Super simple and they have more features that you could test out guys and they're also having a year sale right now so I'll leave all the links down below for you guys to go ahead and download it but there's more things you could go ahead and play around with you have the voice memos if you have memos on your device you could transfer them here vice versa flash drive you could use it as a flash drive as well if you want to they could store stuff on here and also you could encrypt your files and also convert video files there's so much things you can do here guys, it's endless, endless possibilities here. 
So yes guys, if you enjoyed that video and you found it useful and I helped you out today, please drop a like down below and don't forget to download the software if you ever need to transfer files or any media from your PC to your iPhone and vice versa. As always, if you're new, drop a like and subscribe because the YouTube algorithm likes that for some reason it helps push my videos out to more people and as I always say, love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.